Hello Scorpio, how are you guys? Thank you so much for coming to this reading. You guys are all welcome here. Come on in, come on in, have a seat. Let's do this full moon reading for you guys. If you are someone who's always watching my videos and who is a subscriber, thank you so much. May you be blessed always. And I will cherish you and hold you dear. Everyone who's on this channel is like a family and they're like family to me. Thank you for coming. If you are someone new who's just seen this video, welcome to you. May you be blessed. May you be loved. May you be abundant in everything that you do. Amen. Thank you so much for coming, you guys. Have a seat. Let's do this reading for you guys. So tonight is full moon reading. There's a lot of powerful energies around, especially the fairies. And I have a connection with them. You guys, if you look at the videos I have, there's videos of fairies on them. They're real. They're not CGI. <laughs> Well, like something that was um, the, all this nonsense that's online, it's doctored and stuff. This is a real fairy there on that video, okay, flying around. So have a look at the list. I'm going to try and make some playlists for you guys so that you guys can see them clearly. This deck I was guided to use tonight, the, the, the fairy Lenormand for you guys. And they are telling me already that there's a win, a win, a win for Scorpio. You win. There's some kind of victory here for you, okay? There is a lot of spiritual energy that I'm feeling. Thank you, guys. The, the, the moon is very powerful for manifestations. And I feel that you guys' energy is very powerful. You're going to be able to manifest a lot of amazing things, okay, these days. So keep praying, keep working, keep doing your rituals, your prayers and so on, because they're, the manifestations are at hand. They're coming in, okay? And your energy is incredible. Right, let me shuffle the cards. Let's see what the first card that Spirit wants to give you is, Scorpio. My beautiful Scorpios. Your guys are, are amazing, you know. And you know that, I think. <laughs> you know that already. All of my good friends in my life have been Scorpios as well. I've had many good Scorpio friends. I always get along with you guys. Probably because my Venus is in Scorpio, I think. So, okay, wow, wow, powerful energy here. <laughs> Take it easy on me, guys. Calm down. <laughs> no, I'm joking. It's amazing energy. So the first card that's fallen out here is the ring, okay? And I think we all know what this beautiful ring means. It's such a gorgeous ring, isn't it? Look at it. Wow. Someone has really been manifesting or trying to get something here, spiritual. You guys, there's a lot of energy here that basically your manifestations, your prayers, your wishes are all coming, you know, coming to you now. You've planted so many seeds in the past. Only God knows how many people you've helped. Many hurt people, many broken people, they flock to you, they come to you, and you help them, you elevate them. To these people, you are like a king. They come to you or a queen. They come to you and you are crowned. It's a divine thing. Scorpio, tonight you have the, the energy of the wish fulfillment. So you are getting something that's going to be like a wish fulfillment for you. Your energy is very balanced. You're very relaxed. You're very calm. Your art or artistic talents, let's say, they are one of a kind etched in stone for generations to come and, see and know about. If you have an artistic gift of any kind, Scorpio, it's fabulous. Your energy is very balanced and you're someone who is very brave, Scorpio. Divine feminines or masculines. Very brave and life rewards courageous people. I'm getting a message of gratitude 
directed towards you, Scorpio. Thank you for helping all of these people. Divine has been seeing you do this. And Divine is very proud of you. Your elevation is not a reversible thing. It will only continue growing, is what the fairies are saying to me. Because you have the right, the right ingredients for success. You value yourself, you know you are important, you know these people rely on you, but it doesn't make you arrogant and that's, that is a commendable thing. I'm getting here the energy as well of whatever you're doing, Scorpio, to make yourself feel okay is fine. Uh, th this is a message for someone, okay? It's like there's people who have to like switch off and go and relax, uh, you know, like take time off of what they do, especially if you're like a reader or a psychic or someone who helps. I feel a healing energy here. so. If you're like that, you could be a doctor even, or a nurse, or something like that. But this is just saying, giving you permission to relax, to do what you need to do, okay? People will understand. If you have to slow down, slow down, okay? If it burdens you, if you feel a bit stressed out by it. I do feel that people are just waiting for you to talk. It's like, there's so many people who know you, or know about you and they come to you like you could very well be a reader here on this youtube or you could be having having your healing business or someone like, like this really elevated a doctor or a gp or even like a lawyer or something but people come to you for help but it's good it's okay for you to take your rest okay no one's gonna hold it against you especially people who are genuinely looking out for your best interests they will allow you to do that okay so just message here you have your space your light shines it reaches them whether you appear or you don't look at this now the next card is this card number 20. now this card is a card of the garden but it talks about uh public the public what was i just saying people People flock to you for advice, for encouragement, for energy, and you give freely. Um, the fairies are going round like this, round this person, making sure that they're okay. So you are being divinely guided and protected, Scorpio, in whatever you are doing. The roots that you have let, let grow now, so far, they're very firm. They're anchoring you towards the ground. You are very ambitious here. And your dreams are gonna come together, okay? If someone is thinking of a property or a home or because I'm getting this energy very strongly now, it's a move from a flat or a move to another place or a home. It's going to be amazing, whatever you want to do. OK, there's a property in the future for you. Anyway, there's a property that's in your name. Um, that is gonna, you know, make you feel very happy when you get it. Probably will have a garden that's really nice because of the card it's also talking about um that like you guard the wealth of knowledge they say in some things you know about other people don't know about or they don't know about as much as you do um the full moon here is giving you some kind of relief your energies you're kind of loosening up a little bit which is good okay just chill don't need to be tense about anything. At the end of the day, destiny is at play here. There's something big coming towards you, Scorpio, that is going to make you like really feel like amazing, you know? Um, and I think it has to do with the love situation. So rest, rest assured that that will happen, okay? No matter what happens. The fairies are around you, keeping you warm. Someone could have fire in their chart. Uh, Aries Leo Sag. It's either you, Scorpio, or the person that's interested in you or you're interested in them. Let's see what the next card is. There's a lot of success for you, Scorpio, with regards to these social things. So 
if you've been thinking of starting a YouTube channel, making, you know, uh, things that are open to public, to the public for people to have to know and to learn about, then go for it because I can see a lot of success here for you. A lot of success, a lot of wealth. You are brave, you're strong, and you're not scared of the hard work, you do it, which is amazing. The next card here that you have is the tower. <laughs> so people get scared of the tower because they think that, you know, oh my God, this is something sudden and it's going to happen, but this is nothing like it. The tower in this card is a bit different from other cards. So from other decks, I mean, uh, it's about vision. It's about getting the other uh, bigger picture. Being aware of what's going on in your life and in the neighborhood and in your like social kind of connections and circles, you're aware of it all as a whole. It represents the world of seeing beyond the obvious. So I'm saying I'm, I'm picking up on someone's energy here who is a psychic or someone who's got a gift, who's a seer. Um, and your gift is genuine. It's very powerful, full of power. The tower, traditionally, like it, like the other decks, it can speak about something that is going to happen that's going to be life-changing or will propel you forward. Something connected to the past, something or maybe something you've been working on or towards for a long time. There's a connection to another country abroad. I'm getting a feeling United States. It could be any country. If you're in the USA, it could be Europe, or if you're in Europe, it could be USA, or any country, Africa, the Middle East. Um, but there is an overseas connection here, anyway, that I'm seeing for someone, where there's gonna be a lot of growth and happiness. Uh, there's going to be like really nice things happening. Your ancestors are standing firmly behind you. They want this thing to happen. They want this thing to come together. In any case, I think this time now, the, the full moon is going to illuminate the way forward for you. You're going to start seeing things, starting to understand and know what to do exactly to, to, to proceed, you know, with any kind of situation that you don't have clarity about. There's something really beautiful that's going to happen. Such happy times and seeing such joy in the future. A lot of joy and happiness for you guys. There is a connection to the overseas or two people who will come together who are from different backgrounds or there's a difference between them in terms of the countries that they are from and so on. But it's just beautiful. It's a perfect match is what they're saying to me. This is so amazing, wow. The feminine in this connection, you know that story of Rapunzel, <laughs> where she used to live in a tower and then she would put her hair down uh, for the prince to climb. He's the only one that could get to her in that tower. This is the kind of feeling that I'm getting. It's like the divine feminine is not allowing anyone else to come into her life. Even her ancestors, they're not allowing anyone else. They want someone special. They want someone that they like because they've always wanted someone special for her because there's someone that they knew about all this time. If you are, if any of you have had some kind of delay in love or it's not happening, it's going to happen now, okay? Because your ancestors are kind of welcoming this opportunity that's coming in for you. And it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing. Okay, I'm telling you, it's fabulous. I do feel love and money here. So this could be a business deal or some kind of like collaboration of some kind or even like a new project that you want to do, whatever you want to do, Scorpio. Just know it's going to be amazing. Move forward with it. If you've been waiting for a sign, this is a sign. The full moon will illuminate more information for you um, and it will shed its light on things that you need to see so that you can bring in this thing in okay it's there it's just waiting it's like i'm seeing this the gates there's gates and there's a car outside with the lights on ready to come in but it's waiting for the like 
security clearance or something and then they it can come into the you know the castle oh, it's beautiful beautiful okay next card is a dog card and this is one of my favorite cards you know it's uh, such a beautiful card just see how these two are looking at each other <laughs> it's so adorable the fairies they love the dogs and the, all animals and and creatures they're very like you know uh connected to all of these they've got a lot of wisdom to give so the dog is talking about needing someone and being needed in return there's a strong emphasis here on loyalty and responsibility and i think you scorpio you, you have that you're loyal and responsible and this person that's coming into your life has the same qualities isn't that beautiful because it, it is a very balanced thing that's coming in for you guys especially in love the card also shows like that way you can find the most support or where you're the best thing to do moving forward is they want me to clarify the the dog card it talks about friendship and companionship as well. It could be a friendship that will turn into a, lo a romance, for example, or like the energy between you and, and this person is a friendly energy where you'll feel like you're friends and lovers at the same time. It's beautiful. It's just so good. You both are amazing. So I'm gonna clarify this card. I, mean, I usually do four for each sign, but they want me to p do one more for you, Scorpio, tonight. Let's see what the card will be. Give me a card for the sign of Scorpio. Give me a card. To clarify. A few cards came out. Let me just ask them which one they want. Do you want this one? No, this one. No, okay, they said shuffle again. <laughs> All right, let's shuffle. Because three cards came out. Couldn't want. I didn't know which one was uh, the one that they meant for to come out. Give me one card to clarify the dog card for these people. Give me one card to clarify the dog card for Scorpio. Oh, wow. Okay, so you've got the mountain. So the mountain card is talking about exotic connections, like, you know, and um, like I was saying earlier, there's something connected to being exotic or having a background from different places um, to, to people. It also in this deck, it talks about durability. Like it describes the, like, you know, the, in, the, in, the enduring nature of survival and growth. Like people are very, both very power, very strong, they endure things, you know, they make it, they're survivors. Okay, they survive. The, these mountains were carved out by glacier, glaciers and, you know, they represent great strength. So this connection has a lot of strength in it. Okay, there's a lot of strength. It will make both of the people who are involved, involved in this union strong, stronger. The house shows that this love is going to be protection for both people who are involved. The mountain represents like the backbone of someone or the place of sanctuary for them, protection from hostility, from negative things. So I think the masculine here in this connection, Scorpio, is very protective if you are the feminine. Someone who's extremely going to be very protective over you. They're not going to be messing around with you. Very, very protective over you. They want to protect you from all hostility, all negativity. And in turn, they will be your sanctuary. You might not know it yet, but they will be your sanctuary. Like when you are with them, you'll feel like you're healing like you're rejuvenated just talking to them will give you like a 
like a, or even seeing them gives you like a power, a strength, you know, a calmness. This card also shows about, it's like a potential for drawing upon like things that are hidden, resources which are naturally available um, when we have to take, extract the, these things. Like for example, say, it could be a lot of, say for example, water again, under this mountain, spring water, and they'll have to dig to find the stream, spring water. They'll have to like bore, bore into the mountain to find it. It's like some someone's the feeling I'm getting is like someone is using all of their resources, even things that are hidden, to kind of know what to do in this situation. They're, they are trying very hard. Um, I'm getting the energy of a masculine here who's very focused on a feminine. The feminine here is very beautiful. She's got it all going on. I mean, we all know Scorpio women are extremely beautiful. You ladies, you have this masculine who is very prepared, like he's doing so much, or he will be doing so much to just get this thing right. Um, and there's things that he's going to have to do that he's not shy of doing. It's like he's going to have to, for example, travel to come and see you or pay something or do something. He's prepared to do all this for you. This card as well, can it can represent an obstacle that is like presenting itself. It could be distance between these two people, but I'm not getting an energy of an obstacle here. I'm just going to clarify this card. They said clarify the mountain. Okay, let's clarify the mountain for these people. Wow, this is deep. This is a, very, <laughs> a really nice thing though. I'm enjoying this. Okay, clarify the mountain for me. Ooh, the fish. <laughs> okay, so maybe there's something financial going on here. Money. Someone's waiting for money to come before they make a move. Or um, they're worried about their finances. But they're saying here not to worry. If the feminine is worried, they're saying don't worry. If the masculine is worried, they say don't worry. This connection is going to be a very abundant one. You're both very lucky for each other. So this person that's coming to you to, towards you, Scorpio, is very lucky for you. This card also represents resources. It's like someone who's drawing upon their resources to do something. In any occasion, this card is positive. It never has any negative connotations and it cancels any negativity that is from the card before it. So it's cancelling this obstacle. And maybe this is the money that money needs to be spent like some money for the travel or something to make this obstacle disappear. Um... It's also talking about like, it's talking about where, where, what you can use your resources to do. And this is to close the distance. So the masculine is going to be using his resources to close the distance to come towards the feminine or the other way around. But I do feel like this is coming from the masculine because he's presenting himself as a king, an emperor. And I'm, uh, they're showing me like an emperor or a king on a throne. He's going to be the one that's doing this, coming towards the feminine, which is beautiful. You know, it's the way that it's, it's supposed to be. It's very like basic and traditional, but it's, from my experience, this is what gets best results. I feel that this fish card, what the spirits are telling me is that this union is going to be extremely abundant financially, okay? These two people are coming together, they're going to be achieving something together, building something together in the future that is very abundant. Lots of finances and money, wow. 
It's amazing. It's amazing. It's definitely happening. This masculine is not backing down. <laughs> so, congratulations, Scorpio, from me. This is beautiful. You deserve this, my darling. There's a lot of water on this card as well, so... It's your element, my darling. It's your element. Okay, so you're gonna be amazing. Don't worry. Everyone is behind you. All the spirits, all the seers, all the all the fish. <laughs> They're behind you. So you're gonna make it. So now I'm gonna do yes or no answers for you guys. I'm gonna be using this card here. I was just written in the deck of uh, this deck here. Just written it up. This is done for Tari Tarot deck. So I want you guys to. Um, think about questions. The yes or no questions. I'm gonna do three questions. So let's see what the first, the, the answer to your first question is. I'm gonna just ask the spirits to give me a card as an answer for the question. So ask your first question for me, please, Scorpio. Let's go. Mhm. Mm yeah. Well. Okay. <laughs> wow, you got the Six of Cups. This is a card of relief. Your suffering is over, Scorpio. Your pain is over. It's a card of relief that is brought by small, per uh, simple persons or simple things. Like a friend, a lover. Um, something, you know, that is simple. But it has such a big effect on you. And it's bringing this relief, okay? Something small, even it could be this reading that brings this relief. Because it talks about what's gonna happen, the good things that are to come. This is a card as well of useful second thoughts. So say for example, someone's in a bingo parlor and they leave, going towards the car, they don't wanna bet, and then they say, okay, I'm gonna place a bet now. They come back in, they place the bet and they win millions. So this is the same kind of energy it's like either you, Scorpio, or the other person were not like really paying attention to this, but then suddenly there's been a change and this change is on the money. It's what's supposed to happen. It was, was destined to happen. Okay. And this delay, there was a reason for this change. It wasn't that this person was not sure about you or that you were not sure about them. It was that the connection wasn't really clear. Um, so I feel that the feminine here was distancing herself from feeling anything because she thought, well, you know, it's unlikely that anything is going to come from this, so I'm not going to waste my energy on it. And she did, she did this subconsciously. She felt the connection, but she did it subconsciously. It was like she just was moved away because she's been through a lot. She's been hurt and disappointed a lot. So she's reached a point where she's, her system has learned to shut down. As soon if she sees something that she likes, the system shuts down and just she keeps carrying on. But then the masculine here did something that made this feminine wake up. I don't know what they did to you, Scorpio. If you're the feminine, what did they do to you? <laughs> they did something that made this, something happened that made the feminine wake up. And for the life of me, I don't know what it is. I, I can't really see what that, what that is, which is very interesting. It's definitely something divine, divine energy of some God. You know, this is the work of God. Suddenly he, it's like God held this feminine's face and, and told her, look, look here. And she just, you know, when she opened her eyes and saw the masculine, this was the most adorable person that she's ever seen in her life. She would give anything for him. And the interesting thing is here that he would do the same for her and he always wanted to do that for a long time, but she wasn't clocking onto it. So he wasn't getting any kind of feeling about this, but now as soon as she got this in her mind about him, it's like something woke him up to and is directing him in the right direction and the result is going to be a big relief. Wow, wow, this is incredible. Powerful. The answer is yes, of course. <laughs> if you're wondering, it's yes. Oh my God, this is powerful. 
Good Lord. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's do the second question. Yes. 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 <laughs> so you've got, you know, um, this ox here. His name is Abyss. He is where all of the Egyptian mythology originated. Okay, and he represents the beginning of something fabulous. The ox is smiling. Is he smiling? I'm kind of seeing him smile a little bit. Are you guys seeing that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just in my head. But it's, su it's such an auspicious um, card. The Ace of Wands. It also talks about a very strong physical attraction between the masculine and the feminine. It's an undeniable magnetic attraction that is like, they can't really explain it either of them. It's also a card of creation, creativity, you know, could be in a creative business, either of you or both of you. It's a card of enterprise, you know, the beginning like I said, of something, the start point or the origin. Um, it also means luck and ancestral inheritance. It's like this abundance has to come into the lives of these two people, but it hangs on them uniting in, in love. It has to be love, they said, for this to be unlocked. So this offer is coming, I think the masculine understands this and he's coming in with a love offer and then everything else will follow after that. A beast, this ox, is a creature from which the Egyptian mythology originated. I think I thought, yeah, I said that already. So he is quite special. He's like the origin of everything. So this is a big, big uh, yes and it's like, this is it. This is when everything is going to start changing to the better, to the better, where you didn't never thought that this would happen, and it happened it could be this big or this amazing, this is the time for it to happen now, okay? And it will. It's just so such nice energy. I think this couple will really enjoy each other's company from what I'm seeing here. They will never want to stay away from each other. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, so let's do the third question, you guys, and I'll see what the cards show me. Right, so this card is... Ask the question. I've got such a... This card here, the chariot came out immediately, like it jump out, jumped out of the deck. So someone is taking some very swift action towards someone. Um, and it's... I think this masculine is just getting on his chariot and coming to get the feminine Scorpio. So your lucky day, girl. So this guy is coming. <laughs> Whether you're the masculine or the feminine, I think the masculine is getting it together. They're, they're coming very quickly. Um, it represents the universal energies as well, unlike energies around these this couple that want to make them unite, that are pushing everything quickly together. The chariot could talk about the sign of cancer. So maybe someone has cancer, cancer energy in their chart somewhere. Um, or maybe you're interested in a someone who is a Cancer star sign or they are interested in you, Scorpio. But in its essence, it's about fast movement, big changes, quick, quickly, quickly happening. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, very quick, very fast. And it's a very positive card. The answer here is yes. And you've got the, oh my God, you've got the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I told you this is going to be abundance. This is going to be a very abundant disconnection. It's beautiful. Right, so give me your third question, you guys. Let's see what the cards bring. Oh, wow. Death. <laughs> Don't panic, this is a very good card. This is a new beginning as well, you know? It also your card, Scorpio, is the card of the sign of Scorpio. So it's a very strong Scorpio energy. Maybe both people have Scorpio in their chart in this union. Death here is a new beginning, obviously, because nothing has started. It can't die before it starts. It's got to start. 
<laughs> so this is a new beginning, okay? So don't panic. I think he's dying here. I'm thinking no one. <laughs> the death card in this deck talks about sudden changes, which is what I've been saying. And it's also like radical transformation, a big transformation. Someone is changing. Either the, like, this relationship will change your lives, both of you to the better, or it's changing someone. Um, and it's interesting because we got the Six of Cups earlier where I felt that the feminine got second, a useful second thought, like she awakened to the connection at some point, and that sparked the energy off. Um, and this also talks about that, like an awakening of some kind or a change a very um, important change within someone. It also talks about the end of all suffering and the closing on the doors of suffering. Um, if you, it's so funny, I was praying to Saint Peter, who holds the, the, the keys to the kingdom of heaven for a client. There was, there was Scorpio and I was praying because I was making this oil for them and like doing a ritual for them so that they can have this new beginning and they were a Scorpio. This reading fits in very well with that because I was praying to St. Peter to close the doors of suffering and pain for this person because he holds the keys. He's very powerful and when I petition him he always comes, he has never failed. I'm grateful for him, I'm grateful to him, I'm grateful for his energy. Um, and this is like closing the doors of suffering upon you, Scorpio. You no more pain, no more fatalities, this disillusion, or like you know, no more mirages, no more fake things. This is the real deal. This is Anubis. Um, he's the son of Seth. He used to be the god of death uh, or the underworld, and he has. He also represents St. Peter, like he has the keys to close the door or open a door as well. His day is Saturday, which is today. It's incredible. Maybe one of you two is connected to these ancient Egyptians somehow. It's quite powerful for this. Okay, I'm, almost, I'm like getting a bit dizzy because it's, the energy is very powerful. This is going to be amazing, Scorpio. I just can't... It's huge. It's too huge. It's too big. It's amazing. Okay? Congratulations from me. You heard it here first. Okay? You know what's going to happen. If something, if something happens, please let me know in the comments. And please keep me in your prayers as I will keep you in mind. I'm going to do a prayer for you guys to close the reading so that we don't jinx this. This is too perfect. Dear God, please intercede on behalf of the sign of Scorpio. Please come into their lives. Please, my God, close the doors to all their pain and suffering. May they leave them behind them. Nothing, nothing negative will trickle into their future. This love relationship, this love relationship that is going to come, may it be the best thing that's ever happened to them in their lives. Renewing their sense of existence, their sense of purpose. May this couple together, when they come in union, may they change this world for the better. May they change their environment, anyone they know, anyone they come in touch with. And may the effects spread around the universe. My God, please give them health. Protect them from all harm with your most powerful hand. Give them wealth beyond their wildest imaginations and dreams. Abundance. Anyone who stands in their way, my God, may they be removed. Anyone who wants what's best for them, may they stay. Anyone who wants what's worst, may they be cut off. I ask you, my God, to open the way for this to happen, for it is divinely guided. I was here, I am here to deliver this message. Thank you for giving it to me, and may these two people connect together and rise with speed. May this full moon mark the beginning of a new life for both of these people. A new life of abundance, prosperity, happiness, and fertility. May all of their wishes come true. Amen. Thank you so much, you guys. I love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next reading. This was amazing.